79 degrees, partly cloudy skies. Good afternoon. I'm Joyce Johnson, WNIR News. This news is brought to you by McDonald's. Head to McDonald's for a new frappe, buttery caramel, a rich mocha blended with a hint of coffee and ice and topped with real whipped cream and a decadent drizzle. Visit McDonald'sNeo.com. McDonald's, I'm loving it. An aging con man once on the FBI's 10 most wanted fugitive list has pleaded guilty to killing a young Ohio couple in 19. 1977, his second admission in a double murder case this week. Edward Edwards appeared in an Akron courtroom today, two days after he unexpectedly pleaded guilty to killing a teenage couple in Wisconsin in 1980. Now, he declined to make a statement and was sentenced to two consecutive terms of life in prison with no chance of parole for at least 10 years. A jury now says a 25-year-old man should be put to death for killing a Twinsburg police officer, Ashford Thompson, was convicted in the murder of Officer Josh McTarrion in 2008 when he pulled over for playing loud music on his car stereo. The night it happened, I told him about this. Thompson apologized in court to the victim's widow yesterday, saying he never intended to fire his gun. Ohioans could be given a chance to vote on an Arizona-like immigration bill. State Senator Tim Grandel and State Representative Courtney Combs are working together to put the issue on the ballot next May. The proposal would give police the authority to ask suspected immigrants about their status. It's going to affect a lot of... Ohio is joining about 10 other states in looking at this issue. Audio cuts courtesy of... Channel 3 News. Ohio Governor Ted Strickland has signed a bill setting rules for four planned casinos, but Strickland says he's disappointed over a measure establishing an income tax deduction for gambling losses. He estimates the deduction will cut the state budget by $60 million to $80 million every two years starting in 2014. Some state school districts, including the city of Akron, will be seeing their buses go green. The Ohio Environmental Protection Agency is awarding anti-pollution grants to put special equipment on the vehicles. The funds totaled more than $520,000 and will clean up 191 school buses, including Akron Public Schools, Lake Local, and the Portage County Board of Mental Disabilities. Now the money came from the federal clean diesel grants and from civil penalties paid to the Ohio EPA by polluters. Ohio regulators are disputing a claim by the Humane Society of the United States, which alleged that farms in the state are producing 350,000 eggs a year that are contaminated with salmonella. Now, the Ohio Department of Agriculture says data indicates that Ohio farms produce about 35,000 bad eggs annually, a tiny percentage of the 7 billion eggs produced here each year. The WNIR weather forecast is coming up next. If you have bored. Checking the WNIR weather forecast today, partly cloudy, the high in the lower 80s. Tonight, mostly cloudy, a chance of showers and thunderstorms, the low 68. Tomorrow, showers and thunderstorms likely, the high 85. Remember, Akron area forecasts and radar are always a click away at WNIR.com. Sponsored by Apollo Heating and Cooling. It is 78 degrees at the Talk of Akron. I'm Joyce Johnson, WNIR News. Thank you very much.